Welcome, this is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. And if you notice, today's lesson is going to be about the review and test for unit two. And that means we are at the end of this unit, we've learned everything that we we're supposed to. Well, if we look at the review and test, we're going to be using this assessment to uh, help us to figure out where we're at and our growth in mathematics. What is on unit 2 test? We need to recall our basic multiplication and divisions from 0 to 10. We need to know the vocabulary, the patterns, the properties, the rules, and the area. And we need to solve real world problems, knowing which operation to use. And we need to be able to solve a two-step word problem. Quick practice. Instead of practicing with me today, what I want you to do is make sure you're practicing the multiplication table. Make sure you're practicing these hard ones. The 7 times 8 was always the hard one for me. 7 times 8 is 56. Let's look up vocabulary. One of your activities will be to look up these vocabulary words. What an array is, what a product is, what equal group, and square number and multiple is. But there's only three definitions on your assignment tonight. But let's do it this way by looking in the glossary. If we look up these words, let's look up array first since it's right there. It's an arrangement of objects, pictures, or numbers in columns or rows. And so we've done a lot of arrays. We've even done fast arrays. Let's look up some of the other ones. Um, let's look at product. If we look at product, we can look in product and we can find what a product is. It is the answer for when you multiply two factors. When you multiply two factors, you get a product. Square numbers, let's see if we can find a definition for square number. A square number is the product of a whole number and itself. 4 times 4 is 16. You already know what 10 times 10 is. And let's find out what a multiple is. A multiple, M-U-L, multiple. A multiple is a number that is the product of the given number and any whole number. So if we go back here we can see that an blank is an arrangement of objects in columns and rows. That was one of those that we looked at. A or an is a product of a whole number and itself. We looked at that one. And 80 is an blank of 10. That would either be multiple or product. Besides vocabulary, you also need to be able to figure out the order of operations. So let's do this one together. And so if we look, 3 plus 4 times 5. We have to remember that we go parentheses first. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what comes next? Multiplication. So let's do 4 times 5. 4 times 5, we're going to do this one first, is 20. 20 plus, where's, we have to put division here, division, then addition, and then subtraction. So 20 plus 3 equals 23. Now we use the orders of operation to figure that out, to find the expression. So 23 goes right there. Describe how you use mental math to find 90 times 8. This one is using order of operation again. And this one already has parentheses, so you can do that one on your own. Let's check this one. 4 plus 18 divided by 3. What do we do first? We better do this one first. 18 divided by 3 before we add that extra 4. You also have to multiply and divide. And let's do one problem together. I want to make sure you understand what this part is. That line right there is a divisor. And so we take the big number 49 divided by 7 and what's 49 divided by 7? 7. Let's check our answer. Let's go 7 times 7 and what's 7 times 7? 7 times 7 equals 49. The rest of those you'll be able to do on your own. Then we go on to this next part and I just want to make sure you uh, notice that these missing boxes are part of the equation. On number 21 this missing box goes right up here on top. Well, let's do this problem number 18. What is 28 divided by blank equals 4? Another way to write that would be 4 times box equals 28. And what's the answer? The answer is 7. A couple of the last few problems will be looking at word problems. And remember to pick out the part that will help you understand the problem. The area of Keisha's garden is 64. So we know we have a square because it talks about area and it's 64 square feet inside. Well, its width is 8. And what is the length of its garden? Figure that one out on your own. Let's look at Carrie. Carrie found how many seashells? Seven. Her brother brought eight, found eight more. They divide the seashells equally among three people. Well, first of all, we have to figure out what this is. We have to add them together. Seven plus eight. We get an answer. Then we take that answer and we t divide it between three people to get another answer. Now notice there's 
two steps to this. There's the first step and then there's the second step before you can get the final answer. How many people did each, how many seashells did each person get? Remember to label each of these problems. Number 24, Mr. Alberto had 48 students. Remember to divide them into a team of eight and then you have to go and find the second part of the equation. The number of teams will divide, be divided equally for three high school students to coach at practice. How many teams will each high school student get? You have to take this is the first step and then you go ahead and do the next step which is dividing equally for three high school school students. Pretty easy if you break it down. And number 25, Marcy has a seven bean bag dolls, seven bean bag dolls. Lucy has two bean bag dolls. Janice has twice the number of dolls as Marcy and Lucy combined. So you notice there's this part of the equation. Then you have Janice who has twice as many, two times as many how many dolls does Janice have? Explain the steps, then write an equation. So you have to explain using your own words how you figured that out and show your steps. That brings us to the end. Remember this is due back as soon as possible. It is helping you get ready for the Unit 2 test, which will be on Friday. We'll be making sure you get this, but if not, I will also put it on the website so you can be able to um, print it off. We have the two pages with everything that we just went through. That brings us to the end of tonight's lesson. We are getting ready for the next unit, which is measurement. So we're going to be doing a lot of measurement. And notice we're going to be using length and capacity and mass and weight. That's coming up in the next few weeks before Thanksgiving. That's all I have for tonight. Make sure you do your homework so you can do well on the test. Good night. And don't forget to do your WSQ.